I've seen with these narcissists is initially they were so happy to have locked you down. They were so overwhelmed with the fact that they've actually got a chosen one in their life because they know who you are. They know you. Just as we've been chosen from birth, these entities that are plugged into these narcissists also have known us since we've been born. So they're possessing these individuals. So it makes these individuals ecstatic when they get us. They're over the moon. They can't believe their luck, even if they don't show it. Yeah, we're the prize and they know we're the prize. So time goes on. And the thing is, is we're full of such energy and such light that we bring this to their lives through all ways. We're healing them. These are broken individuals, broken narcissistic individuals that are plugged into entities from the other realms. Yeah, and we healed them. We brought them back to their finest shape. Yeah. So time goes on and it can be, there's good times, there's bad times. It's mainly bad times because they're doing all of this wickedry, all this mischief and wickedry and manipulating and all of these tactics that we're unaware of because we're blissfully going through unaware to what's really happening to the devaluation and to all of these little antics that they're doing. But they're, they're still ecstatic that they had us, yeah? They're over the moon, as I said. And... It makes them come to a point of when they, they start tearing us down and stuff like that. But it, it comes to a point when they eventually, as time goes on, we start to mirror back to them what they are. Please press the like and the subscribe button and help your brother out. It will take two seconds of your time. Thank you. But as I said, it will come to a point in time when they begin we begin to be too much for them to bear basically like how can i break this down because over a course of time whether it's a year six months ten years whatever eventually as we was full of energy at the beginning like i've explained what actually happens is later on um we start to mirror back to them all of their negative traits. So all of their devaluation, all of their, all of their judgments, all of their stuff. Because we're chosen ones, we, we've actually got protection. And we've been mirroring back to them what they are. That's what a super empath does or a chosen one does. Um, someone highly empathetic. We're able to actually mirror back to them exactly what they're doing to us. And so over this period of time when they've been trying to devalue us, we've actually tore them back down. So initially we healed them, we brought them back to their finest shape. But the more that they started to, which they naturally do, because they're plugged into these entities in the other realms, which, which they naturally do is um, manipulate, um, devaluation, all of these, these narcissistic things that they do, yeah? They're doing to us over time. Um, this makes them and really uneasy because we're mirroring back to them exactly what they're doing but we're doing it with the chosen one's touch we're doing it like our super empath would someone who's highly 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 empathetic someone who's got this skill set and we mirror this back to them and it begins to break them down and as um what i've titled this video as about um we're discarded because we're chosen it comes a point in time that they feel overwhelmingly pressured they feel overwhelmingly um forced to do what they need to do and they will try all sorts of ranges of things to try and win you back over because it's a big game with these lot and they're plugged in with these entities and they want to try to do one over and so they will they will try all range of things they um scapegoating you smear campaign they'll do something so great so great like to try and you know to tr totally knock us off our fort track you know and sometimes initially they get us they get us good you know they, they get us from an angle that we weren't anticipating because naturally we're in a loving relationship and we think this person's a loving person so when they do something out of the blue so out of character 
because the other things that they've done, the devaluation, it's all hidden behind a narcissistic smile. It's all hidden behind the smirk. It's all hidden behind that. So we don't really notice it. But in the subconscious layers of our mind, we mirror it back to them. But as I was saying, that they've done such a big smear campaign that it's kind of like they've either done such a big smear campaign or they've done something along them lines. The soul causing so much destruction and damage to a relationship even though it's not a relationship because you're just dealing with a demon but what you know on the surface it's a relationship they've done such damage that it's beyond repair and we've either gone through a whole journey now where we door slam them and stuff like that or you know it's just there's no there's no rekindling it there's no reconciliation there's nothing that can happen and this is when it starts to tear them down as well, because they discarded us because we're chosen. We're too much for them to bear. And if you want to check back on the video, um, what's it titled? The reason why they regret uh, losing you. Basically, it's because this is what happens after we're too much for them to bear. They want us in our life because we're grade A supply. We're the top supply, yeah? We're grade A supply. And the thing is, it's because over time we started mirroring back to them what they are. It broke them down to the point when they felt like they can't be around our presence. So they then go back out into the dating market, back out into the world, and they grab anything possible. It's not a chosen one. It's someone that can possibly be plugged into these entities as well and is narcissistic. Yeah, they're plugged into demons as well. And you've got these people that, they, they, you know, don't believe what you see on social media with what they're showing. They're showing you or making out that they're so blessed to have something in their life. They could all be marrying these people, having children. You don't know what. These people are sick and twisted. They're so sick and twisted. They'll go to any lengths to try and break you down. So that's why I will say number one rule, if you're watching this channel, and I'll try and say it will help you a lot, is don't look at their social media. As much as we're in a social media world and everything's social media related and, you know, everything, everything's with the phone these days, just try and not look at it. And it's, it's your little power pledge. It's a little pledge of power that you have over yourself to say, look, you know, we all slip up and you might look from time to time, but eventually you'll get to the point when you just don't look. Yeah. But they, 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 they do such sick, twisted stuff, you know, they, they will have children with someone else that they don't even want to be with just to hurt you. And this is what I'm saying. They're digging themselves such a deeper grave. It's beyond repair. They're getting older. They're getting dustier. They're getting, you know, they, 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 they're, they're losing it. Yeah, these people's. They're seeing. They're seeing. Um, nah, I'm joking. I'm sort of joking. They're seeing grey hairs. They're, 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 they're seriously waking up in cold sweats. They, they seriously don't know what they've done. They, they had a chosen one in their life, and they let that opportunity slip through their fingers because they can't be around us and they can't be without us. And that's basically what it comes down to. They can't be with us, but they can't be without us. And they, they reflect on the good times and they see the true character that we had. They know what we are. They know we're pure. They know we're different. They know we're cut from a different cloth. They know we're separate from the hierarchy. They know we don't follow the pecking order. They know that we are something different. They know that, especially now, when they had us next to them, they knew it. But they, but seeing us, but without us, they know it in a whole totally new degree. And it, it, in, in, in normal terms, it will be something like where they fall in love with you again. But these lot fall in love in a sick and twisted way because it's ran by demonic obsession. It's ran where they look at us as an object. They look at us as something to tear down, you know. And that's why I will say, um, if you went back on the fact and you did rekindle with these people... You'll lose all of the power that you've gained. Whether you've been separate from these people for a week or you've been separate now for a long time. It's a number of years you've been separate. Believe you're still praying on their mind. You're still praying on their mind. And I guarantee you if it's a number of years, it's come to something where they could be a character sort of who's not able to openly apologise. You know, whereas you'll get another de demonic narcissist here. They'll, 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 they'll do the whole sub story thing and they can do the whole I'm sorry and I shouldn't have done that 
but other narcissists they're kind of too prideful or they've or they've done such damage with a smear campaign to all their flying monkeys and them talking around that the devil kind of controls them to make them be scared to actually admit to what is true to admit to what they've done to you because them stepping back with you would make them look such a way but believe me deep in their darkest desires they still want that to be the case they still want you back yeah and just know the reason they discarded you it was not down to the fact that you're this you're that you're the other um everything that they tried to portray to you that made out the reason why they discarded you everything they tried to say yeah for the reason they discarded you is untrue it's not real yeah it's fake it's actually smoke and mirrors because these people operate with smoke and mirrors through their whole way that they function in this realm. Yeah, because they're plugged into these demonic entities. They're hypocritical people. They're hypocritical. They're very deeply hypocritical. It's so bad. Yeah, so don't believe what they tried to portray. Don't ever let that scar you. They've tried, they've scarred your heart already through what they've put you through. They've scarred your heart. Yeah, but look at that scar as something. As a badge of honour, yeah. Look at it as something to be proud of. You've actually experienced what you went through. You've gone through and you've endured it. And you've showed perseverance. And you're here now and you're watching this video. And you're gaining your strength back. And it's just one of the, you know, it, it, you take your hat off to you. Because if, you, if you've seen it through the other side now, all I'll say is just don't make the mistake of jumping back, yeah. You've got this scar on your heart, but you've got this vision now where you can actually deal with other people. You've got this skill set where you're not going to let someone else who's like that enter your life. You're not going to let someone else who's plugged into these entities let, enter your life. And be optimistic to the fact that you can maybe meet another, another someone who's like-minded, someone who's an empath, super empath, chosen one, someone who's, who's very highly empathetic and you lot will just merge together, yeah? It will be something beautiful. It will be something that is heavenly like. Yeah. And. You know. Zion. The reason why the channel is called Zion. Is because Zion is a heavenly realm. In the. In the scriptures. Um, and that's what I'm talking about. That's what we're trying to achieve now. We're trying to achieve. Um, entering that heavenly realm because we're sent from the heavenly realm. We're chosen ones. We're sent from. We're sent from the universe. We're sent from God. Yeah, we're sent from that heavenly realm, and that's the reason why we was even in these people's lives. God brought us to these individuals for us to both learn something from each other. Yeah, and God actually was the one who decreed, or the universe decreed, that we separate from these individuals. That's another thing that you have to have trust in. It's beyond our comprehension. But that's the reason you are separated. For whatever reason. Because the good always out. The light always shines on the dark. You know what I mean? If there's light around, there will be no darkness. So the fact that there was light around with us. There was no darkness that could be let into us. And we, was, we brought light to them. We overshadowed them. We become, too, they, we become too much for them to bear. Yeah. And... They ended up um, lost without us now, with a deep thorn in their side and a deep pain that they, 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 they really regret losing us because they...